Hi everyone, in this video we're going to see how to download the live market prices uh, using Python. In particular we're going to retrieve this data with uh, Yahoo Finance. So first of all I'm going to change the name of uh, the notebook, uh, Jupyter Notebook file. For instance live market prices. Okay. Now we can start writing the code. First of all, we need to import the data source, which is uh, in this case import Y Finance as uh, YF, for instance, and then uh, to to plot to to visualize better our data, I need to import uh, plotly dot graph underscore objects objects and we call it for instance go and okay we import these two needed uh, file uh, packages and okay first of all we are gonna choose which stock uh, to consider for instance uh, we create this variable stock name uh, for example the apple aapl now the period of time we are going to watch our data for example we just want to see the last day so 1d which stands for one day then uh, the, the time interval in which we we will see all the data so we call it delta t and for instance we want to see the data of for every minute so we put here one minute or maybe better five minutes so we have less data to to handle then uh, the main function which is yf since we call the package y, uh, yahoo finance yf dot download and now we have to write tickers equal stock name which in our case was the apple one so aapl then period period equal t which is one day again and finally the interval which in our case we call it delta t and which is uh, five minutes here okay and now we want to print uh, to see this data if it's okay and as you can see there is this very good table already done by Python which here it says that the download of the live market price is complete and of course uh, it, on ya as you can see on Yahoo Finance uh, it downloads the open, the high, low, close, adjust the close and the volume of uh, the stock you are considering, in this case as I said before Apple and uh, you can see since I said one day you can see from the very beginning of the day, the opening and the closure every five minutes 9.30, 9.35, 9.40 and so on up to 4 p.m. okay finally we just want to to plot to figure to create a figure to visualize better this data so the, the chart and uh, it's very simple for example if you want if we want to see the candlestick figure okay, first of all we declare the figure so fig.go.figure okay and now we create our figure so fig.add tra uh, add trace and now we use the candlestick way so go go.candlestick of and here all the inputs of the candlestick function which are for example e x equal data dot index which in our case as I said is Apple AAPL then open equal data open then the I just copy and paste because it's very similar for the high high price of the day mm, sorry high
then we have the low the close and the name so low if you're familiar with python it's very simple but otherwise uh, these uh, are the titles of the the data call the data table we have just created uh, with downloading the prices so open high low close and so on we have low then close and finally the name for example we can write market prices and uh, okay just the in indent uh, in a better way and uh, we run it and as you can see here you have the the, the chart uh, for the input that you are considering so the apple price uh, of the last of the of one day so so the last day and uh, every five minutes and as you can see all the candlestick to say it's increase or decrease of the value and for instance is if you are just one focus on this down period we can do this way and as you can see you can see that in a better way then you double click on the figure and it uh, goes back at the since the beginning and uh, for example if we want to change the delta time for s from uh, 5 minute to 1 minute then you can see the new table is 391 rows and uh, over 6 columns so 930, 931, 932 and so on up to the closure and uh, then we refresh the, the figure and as you can see a lot more data so if you want to focus again on this down period as you can see it's not always down but there are still some increases on the price double click and you will get back on the figure or again last uh, last chance if you want to consider another stock price another stock so for example the tesla then you refresh your table data and then you refresh the figure as you can see a very different uh, chart again you can focus on on a specific interval you you want and and that's it so in this video we've seen how to download live market prices from yahoo finance and i hope you you found this uh, this tutorial useful and uh, see you in the next video and thanks for watching